Ready? Ready. Just kidding. Hello, everybody. Welcome back to Ugly Dog Lures. Tonight we're going to draw for the Valentine Challenge. Yours truly won this time. I know, my shark, he's sad. <laughs> I wanna, but I got a pretty necklace and and matching yeah. earrings to go. I with don't know it. what I'm gonna do with the earrings though. Oh, I, I do. I'm gonna, I'm gonna um, no. I have holes in my ears. So Ow! I did it with a shop in the shop with a drill. Okie dokie. So, uh, we tried to go live and do this, and it just did I don't not know. look good. He made me take it down. I don't know what's going on. We sound like chipmunks on helium. On one so, camera, and then the computer is just the webcam is just not good. Yeah, so so we already did the drawing. Uh, Ian O'Connell, he won the giveaways for the Valentine Challenge. Except you voted for Charlie, we got a problem, yep. man. Yeah, we don't have a problem. We're good, buddy. <laughs> Believe me, I can take her. Yeah, whatever. So, uh, and you'll be getting a uh, round back popper. Very good bait, very popular here. Uh, you're going to be getting a color shift suspending bait. And you're going to be getting a fancy shad in a 1.5 square bill. One of my favorites. Yeah, that that's one. a big seller. And you're going to get a brand new bait caster reel. Well, it's not brand new because I've been playing with it. Yeah, well, you know, it's never had string <laughs> on it. So, it is pretty new. <laughs> and I, I lost the box. I took it out to look at it and started playing with it. And somebody threw the box away. Okay. And I still haven't found it. So, she, sorry. She's going to blame me whether I did it or not. So, it's all right. I'm used to it. There were lots of people in the shop so, that day. I'll blame somebody. <clears throat> yeah. So, I just want to thank all of you. Uh that participated in the live feed yeah that was friday fun. night i had a ball uh be we'll be doing again. it again second saturday of the month at 6 p.m mountain standard time yep and we have a new facebook group the ugly dog lures community we started so you guys that are painting and and have stuff to ask us or have stuff to show us because we love to see what you're doing uh, you can post in there and and we can see it all without having to go through the email which it's kind of impersonal. It's it's a little easier to connect when you are all together. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We might even get some of them sold for you guys. And they can't ever tell. And yeah. we'd like to do features if you guys are doing stuff like that. You know, we help you promote your channels. Absolutely, I will. Do you like an interview with Charlie? Well, Charlie has plans. Charlie's been getting trouble. Most usually, yes. <laughs> but uh. <laughs> I am. We bought a travel trailer. Yes, we did. Last Sunday. Monday. Last Sunday. Monday. I had to work Monday. We well, went up Sunday. And I went back for We went up Sunday. We went to the steakhouse. Saltgrass. Saltgrass yeah. Steakhouse. And then we bought a trailer. And then we went to uh, Trader World, Camper, Camper World, World, whatever the hell it is. That place is dangerous. Yeah. And uh, then we came home. And then I went so, back Monday and picked it up. Yeah, yeah. So, <laughs> so we had a ball doing all that. Got to eat some uh, bacon wrapped quail stuffed with uh, cream cheese. Oh, those things are good. If you guys have never dog. tried them, they're an appetizer at Saltgrass. All I can tell you is that they're way better than cable TV, folks. And, and way better. Than a bin and beer truck, right? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Prettier than an abandoned beer truck, too. So. But Sorry, anyway, we this. are going to do some traveling this summer. Yeah, we're probably going to start traveling before we actually remodel and do anything to the camper because we just want to go. Yeah, I'm ready to go. I'm ready but to film at the lake. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to film paints on the lake, uh, mm -hmm. do something a little different. Uh, and each lake that we go to, we'll kind of do a feature and we'll tour around the lake and uh, show you some of the the points of the lakes here in New Mexico and we'll probably venture off into Texas but if I ever venture to the coast of Texas I'm we not may coming never come back, back. <laughs> I will not come back I am lived on the coast a lot of my life and 
and I love the coast. I want to go to Goose Island. Hey, you should be telling everybody I have an island. No, it's a campground on the ocean, ding dong. It's actually not on the ocean. Oh, it's in the Gulf of Mexico. Is that better? Never mind. I just can't explain it to her, folks, so I'm just going to let it be. So. I thought so, it was for now, uh, I mean, I just, I don't know how to thank y'all enough for all your participation, and and uh, we're a family. Let's all be family. Let's all help each other. Absolutely. And get everything going good, but I'm so excited to go film at different places. and uh, Maybe have meetups at some point. Yeah, yeah, we can do that. Except you guys meet him for real. He's just like, his head is this big and it kind of wobbles around a little bit. So, fair warning. Yeah, and I do like to drink when we meet up. No, we don't. Whether it be coffee or tea or... Coffee. I believe the coffee part. He yeah. lives on coffee. Yeah, <laughs> I do. So, uh, I just want everybody to have a really, really blessed week. Uh, stay warm. Be careful. Be very careful. The roads are still just atrocious here. Uh, they're calling another storm in Wednesday night into Thursday here in New Mexico. I'm not looking forward to that. But they're also calling for 70 degree weather on, on Saturday. Saturday. So <laughs> That's one of those, if you don't like the weather, wait 24 hours and it'll change. Yeah, it's absolutely. Just, uh, yeah, uh, we got lots of different things coming up. We got hats coming. We've got t-shirts on the way. I know I've been saying that, but she is actually working on it now to where you just order the t-shirt. And I don't know how all that works. That's between y'all and her. <laughs> so I'll be staying out of that. So I, I'm learning how it works too. Yeah, so. I've had some people helping me and they've been great. But they all have different ways of doing things and trying to find a path down the middle has been interesting, yeah. but it'll be worth it in the end. Oh yeah, we'll have merchandise and uh, more merchandise and uh, some pretty cool giveaways. And uh, don't forget folks about the camera giveaway so we can uh, pay it forward with some other body that wants to start a YouTube channel. Uh, Melissa can explain more about that to you than I can because she makes up all the rules and I just follow them. <laughs> no, we just we want to give the camera to somebody that's going to use it, you know, to absolutely make make videos to create. And so, if you are wanting to start a YouTube channel, you already have one going. If you're on, you know, Facebook, some other platform, uh, we just want to know what you're doing or what you plan to do and how you plan. To do it so if you just send us in pictures or samples or you know however you want to do short, that short video we prefer either pictures with a voiceover or a 30 second to three minute video uh, we're going to compile everything into one video and we're going to put it out there on uh, march 15th is the deadline uh, march 20th is when the video will actually come out. You know, start voting. And you can you know, like send people in to start voting. And then on April 1st, we are going to draw, not draw, we are going to tally the winners. Because we're not going to choose this one. We're not, <laughs> we're no, not going to leave uh, it to chance. Uh, we're going to let the viewers uh, vote. vote. Mm -hmm. And so if you, if you have a lot of friends, you can have them go in there and vote and, uh, and bump your numbers a little bit. Numbers won't be public. Uh, so keep that in mind but you know they will they will see the video and people have a chance to to choose their favorite and and see who who will do the most with it and that's kind of what what we want it's a it's a very expensive camera i think they're you know between 300 and 500 dollars depending on the accessories that it has and so, that's used and that's used yeah yeah, yeah. so um just kind of keep that in mind and and be sure and start thinking about your submissions and it don't have to be fishing related. No. It can be anything you want to do. Mm. Yeah, you know, anything. If it's videos on uh, how to work a cricket, you know, anything like that. We don't, we don't care. Mm -mm. Honestly, so. if it's doing photography, because the camera does pictures and it does video. So if you want to be a photographer, 
send that in. I, I'm yep. not going to turn that down at all. We don't care. Mm -mm. No, it's for a creator. It, it's to better yes. a creator's world in that it, it bettered our world when we first started upgrading and now we've gone up again and, and uh, you know, we'll keep upgrading. But you got to start at the bottom. We started with GoPros, you know. Uh, yeah. We, GoPro Hero, Hero GoPro. 4s. These are our right. cell phones and these, these little cameras are what started us if off. If you go back to my very first videos, they were done with GoPros. Yeah, they were, huh? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I did some of my first ones with the cell phone. He he used GoPros and. Um, but now I'm gonna keep those GoPros and put them on my kayak. And when I go shark fishing, out of my kayak, she's gonna I'm gonna record it. That way they'll have something left to see what really happened. Yeah, not gonna happen. Girl, all he's gonna do is pull me around. It's not like he's gonna get on top of the water and want to fight. Mm -hmm. So, it's all good. Don't worry about it. I'll miss him. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh -huh. But that's on my bucket list, folks, is to go shark fishing out of a kayak. I've caught lots of them off the bank and lots of them out deep sea. But This is the only shark you need to be catching. I don't catch that shark. Why? He likes you. He may, yeah, no, I ain't gonna even say it. <laughs> yeah, nobody got my Morse code thing, which says I bite. So nobody gets that special little prize I had set aside. Maybe next time. Yeah, maybe next time. <laughs> so the next challenge, uh, husband and wife, is uh, going to be for St. Patrick's Day. And it's gonna be more funny than. Functional. It's gonna be a fun challenge. They're all supposed to be fun. <laughs> I mean, we, we, we rev each other to no end about it, but that's just who we are. My theme is, it takes more than luck. No, not mine. <laughs> I don't want to know what his theme is. Nope, nobody <laughs> does. <laughs> Love thy neighbor, but don't get caught. <laughs> that's right. Life is like a shit sandwich. The more bread you have, the less shit you get. You know, I've got lots of them. So, Great. I'm just going to let it be at that. Thank you. So, <laughs> so you folks just have a very, very blessed week. Uh, it's going to be a long week for us. Yeah, well. So, but that's okay. <laughs> if we get our nice warm weather back Saturday, I'll be in that shop at daylight. Yeah, I am not a cold person. We live in the desert for a reason. Yeah. So every once in a while we'll get like a downpour of snow or downpour of rain and it flash floods. You know, it's gone by the next morning. This is not gone. <laughs> it's no. still cold. I, the ice is still there. It's black ice. It's horrible. Yeah. Yeah. But just remember, folks, uh, if you have some older neighbors, go check on them. Oh, please. Oh, please please do. do. I mean, we, we, nobody's checked on me yet, but most of them know I'm too ornery to, too stubborn. Which one? <laughs> yeah, see? I know how to shut her mouth, folks. <laughs> but y'all have a very blessed week. And uh, just please so check on the elderly if they're in your neighborhood and make sure they don't need anything. So, uh, and uh, we love you. We'll catch you later. <laughs> Bye.